Hello guys, so today we will be solving some problems no, on tension members uh, based on the uh, concepts we have discussed uh, previously on our uh, past lecture. So for the first uh, problem, uh, on the evaluation of the net area, I have here an example T1, um, which asks uh, us to uh, uh, compute for the net area AN for the tension member shown in the figure. So this is quite an easy uh, problem. So for the net area, we simply uh, first get the, the gross area, which uh, is given by the this uh, a plate uh, dimension uh, four uh, by one fourth inch uh, in dimension so we simply multiply four uh, times uh, one fourth here inches we get 1.0 square inch so for the uh, the uh, net width uh, we simply subtract the the uh, diameter of the hole from uh, the uh, gross width okay so the formula will be the gross width minus the width for the hole or the diameter for the hole times the thickness of the plate okay so that gives you the net area so four uh, this four here minus uh, seven eight which is obtained by adding uh, one Okay, one eight on this diameter of the bolt, so uh, this becomes seven eight inches. So four minus seven eight uh, times 0.25, your plate thickness is uh, one fourth, so you get uh, 0.78 square inch. So that's that is for the first uh, simple problem. So let's look into another problem here. Example T two. So we are asked to determine the minimum net area of the plate uh, shown in figure assuming a 15-16 inch diameter holes are located. Okay, so this is a, there is a, a, quite a, a trick here on the diameter of the hole because what is given is the... Uh, uh, design hole diameter okay so this is now your uh, nominal okay diameter of your hole so if we if we want to solve the design diameter or the equivalent diameter of the hole we will only add uh, Okay, we, we only add uh, uh, <coughs> excuse me we have to add only uh, 116 because this is no longer the uh, this is not the diameter of the bolt so we only have to add the error so there's already the allowance there okay so here the allowance is already included such that your final equivalent hole diameter becomes 15 16 plus 116 which is one inch okay so uh, this is a uh, uh, one trick on such a problem we're in uh, uh, diameter of the bolt is not uh, given okay so for the uh, a minimum net area we have to consider several uh, paths okay on this so we can consider uh, this first path here okay 
the second path uh, will, will will be here and the third path uh, will be here okay so we have three paths to consider if I call this uh, path uh, an AD path this is an ABD path and an ABC path uh, which will exit the force on on the edge uh, directly uh, below or top uh, above and below the the hole uh, the last hole uh, considered uh, we have defined three failure path okay so the gauge distances are given and the stagger distances are given so we have this path here ad abd and abc okay first we we define on the ad hole uh, there's no uh, uh, okay so here there's no stagger so your formula is simply uh, AG minus uh, uh, what is this? The area of the hole, okay? Or simply the width, the width gross minus the width of the hole. So there's no stagger here, okay? So simply we have no stagger, two holes. So this is your net width, W uh, gross, I mean, this is your. Uh, two holes uh, this is the diameter of the hole which is one each okay and then you multiply it by the thickness you get 2.5 square inch on the path ABD uh, we have actually three uh, three uh, sorry two staggers okay so we have two stagger and uh, or three holes okay so still your WG is 12 minus uh, three holes okay so this is the number of holes this is the diameter of the hole one inch and then this is the first and the second stagger okay so for the first stagger uh, in the first stagger is actually the uh, A a, uh, the AB stagger here and the second stagger is the BD stagger which has a, uh, a stagger distance of 2 and 1 inch and uh, uh, gauge distance of uh, 2 and 1 half okay here we have uh, 1 and 7 8 and gauge distance of sorry a 2 and 1 8 and a gauge distance of 4 inch Okay, so you just plug it here on the formula for the first stagger it's two and one eight with with a two and a half per gauge and then uh, we have a a one point eight seven five sorry I'm referring to you uh, a two and one uh, two and one eight again and a four inch stagger here okay so this is the first uh, uh, the second path. For the third path, we have again uh, the the uh, width of the plate, the gross width. We have uh, three holes here. We have the diameter here, and then the first stagger is two and one eight. Gauge is two and a half, and then we have a one and seven eight. I think uh, this is seven eight and. Uh, Four for your gauge distance. So let's check it. That's one and seven eight. Okay, so that's one and uh, seven eight there. Okay, so we just simply compute it uh, on the basis of the number of stagger and the number of holes. So two stagger, three holes also. Okay, so don't forget to multiply it by the thickness to make it the area, okay? And then 
course we choose the smallest that we have here 2.42 as the controlling uh, net area okay for the uh, angles uh, here is an additional lecture for you on the equivalent gauge distance uh, when you want your your uh, angle bar to be converted to a flat plate okay convert to a flat plate so the conversion is just to to make uh, some some uh, way of uh, understanding it uh, easier in terms of uh, okay so this is now my your okay so so the angle here was actually made flat there to define okay the equivalent gauge distance from here to there okay so the, this equivalent gauge distance g is simply this one here okay so uh, when you have when you have a a, a member where in the elements are not uh, of the same plane at the same plane you simply uh, flatten it out by assuming okay you will not do this uh, actually you will just assume it in the drawing to in order for you to have a feel of what the gauge distance is and the gauge distance is simply the sum of the two gauges ga plus gb minus half of the thickness of the first element the first leg and half the thick minus half the thickness of the second element okay so if you add these two here you get a minus d there so this becomes uh, your formula for the AISC recommendation, uh, this is now the recommended uh, gauges to make sure that uh, your angle bar uh, will have no problems on uh, on the edge distances and so on and so forth. But these are just recommended for us to facilitate our design and uh, construction. Okay, so to have a feel of what uh, the angle uh, uh, net area would be if we try to solve a problem on, on this, so let's consider example T3. So we find the net area uh, given this angle. Okay, again, the diameter given is the diameter of the hole and uh, the thickness, uh, sorry, the diameter of the hole. So if we add 116 on this, the design hole diameter now considered is simply, this is the nominal, no? so the design hole diameter will be 1516 plus 116. So you only add the error when the design diameter or the nominal diameter is given okay so this is your uh, error you don't add one eight so the final uh, value here will be one inch diameter okay so uh, we flatten this uh, figure now so you see that there are two holes here you have uh, two holes there on the first and the second bolt line and the third bolt, bolt line here comes from this hole here, okay? So these uh, two holes here came from uh, this. And of course, these two holes are there and these two holes here are here. Okay, and if we look into the path, uh, the path, the, the gauge distances are not equal because we have to solve for the distance equivalent distance from this hole to this hole here okay so uh, this hole and this hole we have to solve for uh, equivalent gauge g so this four and one fourth has an asterisk there so how do you solve for that you just add the g here which is two and one fourth okay this is the g you just add these two G's and then subtract 
okay so if this is uh, g1 and this is uh, g2 and this is g3 so you just add g2 plus g3 minus the thickness of the so this is two and a half uh sorry plus okay two and a half plus two and a half, one fourth minus the thickness which is one half so this is your d so you get a four and one fourth there on the equivalent gauge distance and then you proceed with how plates are solved using the principle of uh, net area okay so the total the total uh, width now of this equivalent plate so this is the gross width of your equivalent plate becomes uh, you simply add okay you simply add or you simply uh, uh, take note of how the the equivalent uh, gauge here was uh, was uh, obtained okay so this is an angle six by four uh, by one half so on the, uh, what you do here is you, you just add the legs okay so this one one half you just add the the leg one time plus the leg two minus the thickness okay so leg one is six plus four minus one half is nine and one half inches so that's how the equivalent uh, a width of the pl the plate or sorry equivalent width of the angle bar is converted so you don't use now the total uh, 10 inches when you add the you have to subtract a uh, one half on the thickness there okay so for the computation of such the net area computation we have uh, uh, two paths to consider and the first path is uh, simply uh, this uh, actually you can consider three paths if you want okay so one is this one the other is this one here and the other is uh, the third one is this one here okay so here uh, it's just equal so 3 is just equal to 3 so no need to have so you actually have uh, uh, three paths uh, but if you will look into this uh, path uh, the second and the third they are just the same because these are both uh, three inches okay so we can consider or uh considered only two path which is the green and the and the uh, and the violet okay okay i can't erase it so i might as well uh, just delete it okay like this okay okay so we have now a b uh, C path and A B sorry A C path and A B C path okay so we have uh, the first one is a straight no stagger and the second one is the staggered one so we have here now A C so this has uh, two holes no stagger and here we have one, two, uh, three holes and uh, two stagger. Okay, so uh, this is your guide. No? So this is the, the, the area gross. Okay, so based on the, the, the area of the area gross is the area of the angle. Okay, so you go, go to the table. Okay, or this is given in the problem. So you just subtract now okay we have two holes here no stagger so two times one inch so this is the diameter of the hole 
Okay, so here we have 3 times the stagger. Okay, 3 holes times the diameter of the hole, which is 1 inch. Okay, so 0.5 is the thickness of the angle. So don't forget the thickness of the angle there because this is an area you have to multiply it by thickness. And then we have the two stagger here. So the two stagger you cannot multiply it by two because the staggering are different. So we separate the first stagger and the second stagger has a pitch of uh, three. Okay, here three and the gauge of uh, two and one half or two and one half. So not the pitch, the stagger of three and the gauge of two and a half. So here we have a stagger of 4.25. Sorry, three again and uh, a gauge of four and one fourth, which is the equivalent gauge. No, so this is now not the the gauge that you see on the original drawing. This is the equivalent uh, gauge. Okay, four and one fourth multiplied by the thickness you get here, and then you compare the two. You will say that this is the one that burns. So that's how you do it for angles, and uh, that's it, okay? So we will try to solve uh, some more problems on the next uh, video. Thank you very much.